Hey, I'm Brock St. Clair for Team Vava, and today we're going to talk about lights. Specifically, the lights used in projection technology and video projectors, like, I don't know, just off the top of my head, Vava's 4K Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector that I happen to have right here in my office. I was catching up on The Bachelor prior to filming, sorry. About that. Okay, let's get into it. All images that we see, video, photo, whatever it may be, they're composed of three different colors of light. Red, green, and blue. And projectors are no exception to this rule. They have to produce very precise wavelengths of light at those three different colors. And they typically do that with one of three different sources of light. Lamps, LEDs, and lasers. Let's look at pros and cons. Number one, lamps. No, not those lamps these lamps. Ultra high pressure lamps are the oldest and the most common source of light found in your consumer projector. Examples of projectors that use UHP lamps look like this and like this and like this and like this also. You've probably seen these in school or in your workplace or right now for the first time, in which case it's cool, right? <laughs> lamps and projectors are a pretty tried and true technology. They've been around for a long time. They're really, really bright they're inexpensive to implement. However, they can be expensive to replace. They're super energy inefficient. Their lifespan isn't super long, less than 10,000 hours of use. They get really hot and they need time to warm up and cool down. So in many ways, they're a lot like my grandpa. Number two. LEDs, the hot new light source everyone is talking about, which is ironic, of course, because LEDs don't produce heat. What do you think? Was that funny? Should I keep that in? No? Okay. LEDs aren't a super new technology, but they are new to projectors. Examples of that are the LG Cinebeam series and the BenQ uh, T... Jeez, what is the name of this one? Um, the H... the BenQ HT9060. Jeez. LEDs are a lot more energy efficient than lamps. They last a lot longer, often rated at many tens of thousands of hours, and they turn on and off instantly, so no time to warm up and no time to cool down, just pure, unadulterated lights. But, and there always is a but, isn't there? The biggest drawback to LED projectors is brightness. LED projectors can typically put out about 1500 to 2200 lumens, whereas traditional lamp projectors can do over 3,000 lumens. And finally, number three, lasers. Lasers and projectors offer high brightness, like lamps, and long lifespan, like LEDs. Plus, they also produce extremely narrow wavelengths of light that can be finely produced to produce a wider range of color than both lamps and LEDs. Great color, great brightness, and great lifespan. Brock, why didn't you lead with the, with the lasers? Just like with LEDs and lamps, there is a butt coming. Laser projection technology can be extremely expensive to implement. For example, you can pick up one of Hisense's ultra short throw 4K projectors for a cool $10,000, whatever. And while there do exist more affordable laser projectors in the space, like, oh, I don't know, just as a random example, Vava's 4K ultra short throw laser projector available now at vava.com. Not that I'm biased. There's no doubt that laser projection technology is still quite expensive. But it's becoming more accessible by the day, and it very well may be the future of television and movies and uh, videos, I don't know, media. And on that note, if you found this video helpful in your search for the projector that works best for you, please do consider leaving a like. If you really liked it, do consider subscribing to the channel for more consumer tech information and Vava gear updates. I've been Brock St. Clair for Team Vava. We'll see you next time.